really do with this pink as well. And of course Mark only needs one snook at the moment. He's overcut it, so Mark will come back to the table. Ding Junhui, 32. That was a chance for Ding to put the frame beyond doubt. Yeah, it, it, he had two or three options with that red to the middle, didn't he? And uh, he didn't play it very well. One. And that red in a good position to, after this pink, to send it up the table, try and get the white in behind the black. Well, after this black, I should say. I thought he was going to take the pink. Mm. Is he thinking Eight. the snook on the yellow? Well, the yellow is virtually up against the brown, so no. if, if he gets uh, in the right position for the yellow, he could lay a very nasty snooker. Yeah, he's got to get the white in the correct position, though. Anything less, and uh, I'm not sure he can make it. I think he needed to be a fraction further down. Yeah, 15. shake of the head, he doesn't like it. Very difficult to kill the white behind the brown there. He needed to be much closer. This might just be a drop in behind it. No. It's not that difficult to hit. You could really have done with getting the yellow down this end of the table, but not from that angle. Oh, good luck this one, eh? What a shot. Well, I suppose in some ways Mark was expecting that because he didn't get the, the real snooker that he wanted, but that's a great shot. Not bad. Might see Ding have a go at this one, though. as well he's he's prepared to wait but look at this one oh wow well. forget the pot what about that one i don't think that uh, selby will be laying a snooker from there well that was top draw and if he doesn't hit this there might be a concession and there's a lot of room to go around this yellow and he's gone around it Foul. Ding Junhui, four. I think this yellow is potable. I think he's laying another snooker. He's a hard man, you know, Clive. 